Welcome back to my channel. This video will be a monthly favourite as you can see from the title. It's been so long since I last did a monthly favourites video. I think my last one was my spring favourites video. So I thought it's time for me to finally film a monthly favourites and show you what I've been loving this month. I have some really cool items to show you. I have a few pairs of shoes. I also have some beauty products. So if you want to see some of the items that I've been loving for summer and this month, keep watching. Okay, so I will start with something that I'm actually wearing and it's this top I picked up from Andada Stories. Look at the sleeves. I really, really love this top. I picked it up on sale. I'm actually planning to film a sale finds video, so if you're interested, leave me a comment down below if you want to see. I picked up so many items on sale, which I love, but this is definitely my most favorite thing. I've been so obsessed with Andada Stories lately and I bought quite a few things but this is definitely my favorite i absolutely love this top it's very lightweight and although it's quite hot here in the uk i've been wearing this quite a lot especially in the evenings when it's a bit more chilly so this is perfect it's slightly cropped but it's not too cropped and i love the sleeves they're my favorite part it also ties hair and has buttons but yeah, this is definitely a favourite this month. I picked it up a few weeks ago. I'm not sure if it's still available online, but I'll try and link it down below. If it's not available, I'll try to find something similar. You know when you love something so much that you want to have a backup and like have two of them just in case something happens to one of them? Well, I got two tops because I love it so much. So yeah, I got one from the store and the other one I bought online. So yeah, I have two of these and absolutely love this top. So it's definitely a favourite this month. My next favourite is these Gucci Princeton loafers. I finally picked up a pair of Princetons and I'm so happy with them. These are the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned. These are so, so comfortable. I have literally worn these so much already. You can see the soles are quite worn out. I actually have to bring these to the cobbler so they can put like a protective sole. Um, yeah because I literally wear them every single day. I'm definitely going to pick up another pair because I love these so much and I wear them all the time. I've heard the leather ones crease a lot. I have some friends who uh, have the leather ones and they're already worn out so much. That's why I love these so much because you can't really see that the leather creases. There's still leather on the inside but you can't really tell or at least I don't think you can tell. They still look in really good condition although I've worn them so much and I had them for maybe a month. As I bought these I remember I wore them for a whole week. <laughs> straight for a whole week every single day uh, I didn't take them off and I love the fact that they still look like new and they don't crease hair um, so yeah I had to pick another pair of loafers because I love the Gucci ones so much I picked up these from the Zara sale and I actually really, really like them as well they are very comfortable I picked up my I forgot to mention that I have my Gucci loafers in size 38 which is UK 5 and these are size 38 as well and uh, maybe go like a size up I would say if you're buying Gucci loafers these Zara ones are I'm in between sizes so yeah maybe go for half a size or a size or a whole size up uh, but these are from Zara and I really really like these they were on sale for I can't remember I think they were 15 or 19 pounds I bought them together with other things so I can't really remember I think they were between 15 and 19, 19 pounds but these are very comfortable as well they're not as comfortable as my Gucci loafers although my Gucci loafers are slightly tighter fit they are still more comfortable than these but these are very comfortable as well so if you can find them definitely pick them up they're very pretty as well I love the tweed detail on them they're really nice color and they go well with jeans and they're slightly like sparkly because they have some silver sequins and a silver thread so they're slightly sparkly I'm not sure if that's showing on the camera I wanted to show you that there are other options in the Gucci loafers you don't have to go and spend 500 pounds on designer loafers there are so many really comfortable and very pretty loafers on the market right now so if you're on a budget and can't afford a pair of designer loafers definitely have a look on the high street you will definitely find something that you love 
But yeah, I really like these, so I thought I'll show you them. I actually, uh, I've worn them quite a lot as well this month. Next, I want to show you these. These are so cute. I was sent these by the luxury company. I've collaborated with the luxury company before. They sent me a fair parka, which I showed you in one of my other videos. I loved their parka so much. And when they reached out to me again and said that they want to send me some of their new loafers, of course, I said, yes, I would love to. Um, try them and see if I like them and if I can recommend them to my viewers. I wasn't paid to show you these, I don't earn any commission, so this is my honest review. I really love them, they're very very comfortable and they are so cute, they have them in so many other colours. I picked up the dark green ones and I love them so much. They're also lined on the inside. I think the lining on the inside is for shirling but this is a real fox fur and they also have these in so many other colors they have them in pink in blue in purple gray i really love the gray ones i actually want to get a pair of gray ones and these i think they have them in two like different styles these are very like thin sole but they have them with a thicker sole which you might find more comfortable actually as these are very very flat if you like them i think they're about 100 and 120 pounds i think depending on the thickness of the sole um, but i have 20 percent off so if you like them you can pick this up and save up some money uh, by using my code they gave me a promo code for you uh, which you can use if you like them. These I would say are true to size but if you have any questions you can also contact the luxury company on Instagram, DM them and I think they'll be more than happy to um, answer any of your questions regarding shipping, sizing and all that. I'll leave their website and Instagram page down below so you can check them out. And don't forget the discount code is MARIA for 20% off. My next monthly favourite are these sheet masks by Origins. I've been sent these but let me tell you the story. I did a skincare routine video a few months ago which a few months ago? No, it was actually a recent video. It was maybe a month ago. <laughs> I've recently uploaded a skincare routine video and Origins contacted me on Instagram and via email and said that they watched my video and they thanked me for including so many of their products. So I purchased all the products I showed you in that video myself and I really, really love Origins so I was really happy. I couldn't believe when they contacted me because they're one of my favourite skincare brands. I, have, I love so many of their products and they said that they really loved my video and they wanted to send me some of their products as a thank you. They sent me a really nice package so thank you so much origins i love all the products but i especially love these sheet masks and i wanted to show you them as well i have the nourishing sheet mask and the radiance boosting sheet mask i think they have a few other ones as well but these are definitely my favorite they're really really good they also sent me a few other products that i tried and i love as well which i will actually show you in a different video you get one mask in each one of these my skin feels so nourished and radiant after using these ones so I highly recommend them they're very affordable so if you're a fan of sheet masks definitely try these ones my next monthly favorite is a product a product <laughs> yeah it is a product my next monthly favorite is a perfume and this one is from Under the Stories. I've been so obsessed with Under the Stories. They have a really nice makeup range and also they have really nice fragrances. They're very unique um, smells. So I really, I especially loved this one. This is the Botanic Whisper EDT uh, in 50ml. And actually I got this one on sale. I couldn't believe this one was on sale. It was 50% off. So the original price was £26, I picked it up for only £13 and although it's EDT, it's a very, very long lasting. I sprayed it on yesterday and I can still actually smell it. I sprayed it on my hand and on my neck and I can actually still smell it from yesterday, I haven't sprayed it on today. Um, but this is a really perfect spring and summer scent. It's a very unique as well, I've never smelled anything like it. It has... It's quite floral when I first smelled it. Um, it was very unique, very different floral smell. And I was like, it has something else, but I can't really tell what it is. It smelled like spices and like tea or something. And I was like, what is, what is that? What does it smell like? And then I read the packaging and it says that it's orange, vivid orange and coriander. 
and I was like wow that's a very different combination like coriander and orange but it's very it's very unique um, it is very light it's not a strong scent you know I'm not a fan of a very like heavy perfumes and uh, this one is really really good so I highly recommend this one uh, if you have a local and other stories store definitely go have a sniff at their other perfumes as well they have a really nice range of perfumes this is definitely my summer scent I actually finished all my favorite perfumes and I do have a big fragrance collection but I have a few favorite ones that I use all the time and I finished all of them and I didn't have a perfume so I was really happy that I found this one because this is definitely my new favorite my next monthly favorites are these Dior products. I'll start with this one. This is the Dior Show Maximizer Triple Volume Plumbing Lash Primer. This is a serum for your lashes. You can apply it before your mascara or you can also apply it before you go to bed. Um, I have actually noticed a difference in my lashes. I apply this before bed every night. My lashes look thicker and longer. I also apply this one before I apply my mascara which I'll talk about in a bit uh, but I apply it before my mascara as well and it gives that extra volume and length. So for mascara I have a new favorite mascara which I've been raving about on my social media like on Instagram, Snapchat. I even mentioned it in a few of my previous videos here on YouTube. I can't stop talking about this product and recommending it to my friends. I also got so many messages from you guys who purchased it. Some of you also sent me pictures of you wearing the new mascara and you thanked me for recommending this. You said it's great and you're loving it. So I'm really happy that you're loving it as much as I'm loving it. I have two of them because I love it so much. <laughs> no, I used one of them up. So actually one of them is empty. I have to check which one. I think it's this one. Uh, but I already repurchased it. I love it so much. However, one thing that I don't like about this mascara is that I use it up so quick. I literally have to purchase one every single month. I use it daily, but it finishes so quick. You get six grams of product, which I don't know, is that the standard? I think that's actually pretty standard for mascaras. The packaging looks quite big, but actually, I don't know, like the product finishes so quick. This is the only thing I don't like, but the mascara is amazing. It gives that false lash effect, makes my uh, lashes look like fake lashes. It gives a lot of volume, also length, but I would say more volume than length. Uh, it's a really, really good mascara. I highly recommend it. So if you still haven't tried it, definitely try it and you will thank me later. It's really, really good. I actually have to repurchase one very soon because my second one, like, like, okay, this one is empty, but this one I have to, like, it's, I think, half empty already. So I will definitely have to repurchase one very, very soon. <laughs> My next monthly favorite is this brush, which I also showed you in one of my vlogs. This is a Gucci eyeshadow blending brush in number 20. I think you can only buy these in boutiques and from their official website, so I will try and link it down below as well. It is such a good blending brush. I've been actually looking for a really good blending brush for so long and this one is perfect. It's really, really big. So if you have big lids, it's perfect. It blends my eyeshadow so well. It's a real hair. Uh, it's not synthetic and it's definitely the best blending brush I have ever, ever tried. So definitely pick this one up. I think you'll love it. If you, if you love doing eyeshadows, you will love this brush a lot. <laughs> My next monthly favorite is this Luxury Tan by Vita Liberata. And it's a two to three week tan. It's really good. My one is in the dark. I think they have extra dark as well, if I'm not wrong. But I picked up the dark one. And I actually picked this one up on sell no actually it wasn't a sale they have some promotion i really hope they still have it i picked it up almost half price it was so cheap because this one is usually i think it's about 40 pounds i paid i think 20 something pounds um so you get 125 mil i'll actually open it I've already used it, so I have no idea why it's still in the original packaging. I have used this one before. This is not the first time I'm buying the Vita Liberata tan. Um, but I really, really like it. I've actually used, before this one, I used the Saint-Tropez 
um, what was it called, Express Tan that develops in one to three hours. This one develops very quick as well. Um, it doesn't really stain my clothes. It's a very long, it's very long lasting. It really stays for a very long time, even after taking a shower. It still um, stays on. It doesn't fade that quick. I really love the Saint Tropez one. It's slightly cheaper, but this is definitely better. It gives you a very natural looking tan, so I highly recommend this. For summer, if you want to be bronzed and tanned, this is perfect. My last monthly favorite is actually a film. My favorite film for this month is Wonder Woman. I actually went to see it three times <laughs> at the cinema. I loved it so much, I went three times and actually want to go again and watch it again. It's still on, so if you haven't watched the film, definitely go and watch it. It's amazing. I have a massive crush on the actress who plays Wonder Woman. She's so stunning, especially in this film. Oh my god, she's so badass. She is gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, these were all my monthly favorites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite product for this month or your favorite summer product. Also, don't forget to come say hi on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter and Facebook. <laughs> don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Also subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for leaving such nice comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I'm standing outside waiting, waiting for you You were always taking time